So you find yourself trying to decide between the Dysons and the Samsung. And the Samsung bespoke line specifically against something like the Dyson V15 or something like the V11 or V12s. So how do you pick between the two? Well, I'm gonna explain what the differences are and how you might wanna decide for yourself. So how do you pick between something like a Dyson and a Samsung bespoke line? I think it comes down to important characteristics that you're finding something you care about. What are they? Now, if you think of this just as a cordless stick vacuum, it could get a little bit confusing. So let's think of it in another way. Imagine you have a car and that car is able to fill up its own gas tank. That's basically what the Samsung is offering you. It's like, hey, we can empty the waste bin on its own so you don't have to. And then every few cycles, probably every, depending on how much you vacuum, I would say in my case, every 10 cycles, I have to empty that bag. Now, if you if you have a lot of cat hair or it's picking up a full, full uh, dust cup every single time you vacuum, it might be every five uses versus something like on the Dyson. They make it very easy to empty your bin. They also make it easy to detect things that are on your floor. They give you a lot of attachments, but it doesn't come with the same convenience as the Samsung. The Samsung is giving you a cradle for all your attachments. They give you um, a adjustable height handle. So if you're shorter or on the taller side, you could adjust the height. And yet they still give you that self empty bin. The desk cup is much larger on the Dyson as you can see. The overall head unit is just much larger than the Samsung Bespoke. The quality is very similar. They're both premium offerings. I like the finishes on both between the motor design and the control modules and where the elf air filters are located on the Dyson. And the main air filter is not necessarily part of the dust cup but you can remove it here and then empty and clean it through this. And this is gonna give you access to your center console as well as the uh, airflow for your motor. If I turn it on, you can see that I have medium, I have eco, and I have boost. Boost is gonna be the most powerful setting while medium is gonna give you more of a normal while eco is the most power friendly. This is gonna be able to adjust its suction power depending on what's actually collecting on the floors. Battery life is affected by each one. And you get a readout. You'll get a readout of how much suction power and how much battery you're using in each individual setting. If I have it on max right now, it's telling me that I have about six minutes and 38 seconds left. If I put it on auto, it lets me know that I have 29 minutes and six minutes left. And on eco, it lets me know 45 minutes and 23 seconds left. Now my battery is not fully charged. If I have a fully charged battery, you're looking at about one hour to maybe 66, 68 minutes. If you have it on eco, that's a little bit different than what you find on the Samsung. Samsung, instead of having a trigger, you know, the Dyson uses a trigger here to, so that you, you can keep it active. On the Samsung, it's just a single touch button. I have it on mid, mi minimum, and minimal, mid, max, and jet. So the Samsung comes with four modes. It's coming with, I turn it on, it comes with a min, middle, max, and jet. Jet is the most powerful setting you can utilize on your Samsung. If you wanna see a closer look at the Samsung dust cup, that's really simple. You just pop it off and this is what it looks like. So the main core filters are all here. I do wanna share my observations on use, utilizing this. So when you wanna open it, it doesn't just necessarily pop open. You do have to sometimes put your finger or fingernail in there to open up the dust cup. Second, I took out the filter. You can pop this whole housing out by unlocking it. So we're gonna unlock it. And you can remove the whole housing and just dump it out that way. Both are gonna be coming with removal batteries. The Dyson is gonna be more powerful. The Dyson has cleaning tools that are gonna be better suited so that you can spot the debris on your floor because it has laser detect. You know, um, as a torque drive, as the self-cleaning brush roll, I didn't notice a huge difference in terms of overall performance relative to the Samsung's Jet Dual Brush but you will notice the difference because when you have this on Jet, it kind of matches what you have this on Max. So on a Dyson V15, 
a V12, if you have it on the max level, which is on the strongest power setting, you're getting about 10 to 12 minutes of battery life. Um, maybe 15 if you have a brand new battery and you fully charge it to 100%. On the Samsung, when you have it on the jet setting, you're getting somewhere closer to five to eight minutes on jet, which is the most powerful setting, which I would say is the closest to the max setting you have on your Dyson. So that should be all kept in mind when you're trying to decide between the two. If you want more convenience, go with the Samsung. If you want more power and you like Dyson's, go with the Dyson. Neither one is gonna be a wrong option. And with that, thanks for watching everybody. This is David with the French Glow, showcasing to you the difference between the Samsung and the Dyson V15. Check it out, I'll catch you next time. Bye, bye, bye.